Have you ever wondered about the interactions that control the universe? Have you ever thought about the story of the four fundamental forces? Gravity, strong force, weak force and electromagnetism. From stopping us flying into space to providing visible light so we can see, they can be found all around us. Physicists believe that the four forces were once unified, but then separated with the expansion of the universe. In fact, in 1979, Professor Abdus Salam was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics, alongside two American physicists, for their revolutionising work in the field of electroweak unification. So, what exactly does this discovery mean? Well, Professor Abdus Salam successfully showed how electromagnetism is in fact connected to the weak force. He hypothesized that the existence of a neutral particle is fundamental to carry the weak force, and so, to find the W and Z boson particles, the grand unification theory was coined. This theory even formed the bedrock for the discovery of the Higgs boson particle in 2012. So, let's explore the life story of Professor Abdus Salam. He was born in 1926 in a remote province of Punjab, Pakistan. In 1964, he came to the UK on a scholarship and studied at the University of Cambridge, completing his PhD in theoretical physics. Whilst at Cambridge, he was awarded the Smith Prize for pre-doctoral contributions to physics. In 1957, he became Professor of Applied Mathematics at Imperial and also co-founded the Theoretical Physics Department. He also founded the United Nations International Centre for Theoretical Physics in Trieste, Italy to provide an international forum to the scientists from the underrepresented countries to share their ideas and theories. Professor Abdus Salam was a man who broke all barriers to rise as the first Muslim Nobel laureate in science. And so, we remember him as the man who proved that knowledge knows no limits and that scientific thought and its creation is the common and shared heritage of mankind.